Hi, everybody. I'm meteorologist Joe Chaffee. You might be hearing a little bit of Christmas music in the background because I feel that's about the only way we're going to even feel remotely wintry or Christmassy. But I just got to show you this. It's just amazing to me. When uh, we look, this is a new GFS, and this is through tomorrow. Of course, we all know we're burning up today into the 70s in some places. And tomorrow we have this cold front that will be approaching, so it will be very warm ahead of it anyway. Now, the above normal temperatures continue, although it's probably a little lower. So instead of my, uh, plus 20, we're talking about plus 5 to 10 as we go into uh, the latter part of the week. You can see how warm it is until this uh, cold front gets through here sometime on Friday. And then we transition over to seasonal temperatures for, well, just about a whole day or two. And then here comes the next warm up as we head into Christmas. And in fact, this is Christmas Eve with temperatures running uh, between 15 and 20 degrees above normal in the purple. And that goes all the way up into Canada. And Christmas Day, we actually have an area right up in here, uh, up into southeastern Canada around Mon Montreal, uh, where the temperatures are going to be running almost 30 degrees above normal. So this is just incredible. And then that moves out. And then again, as we go toward New Year's, here it comes. Now, the only difference, if you look out west, uh, up down, up in this area, uh, this is all going to be, of course, pretty much west of the plains. Uh, you do have a surge of very cold air that comes down with temperatures below or much above normal, eventually getting into uh, rather much below normal. You see how <laughs> I'm so used to now talking about above normal temperatures, I can't even talk about below ones. But you can see the country pretty much cut in half with the western half just completely below normal to much below normal and the eastern half much above normal now i got to tell you i've been doing this for so many years 35 years it's hard for me to pull back on memory but i try and i have to say i have never that i can remember i'm sure it's happened but i just can't seem to recall it uh this huge almost summertime ridge Bermuda highish that builds off the southeast coast of the United States, and it's that strong in terms of strength, and of course that makes the trough in the west a lot deeper. As far as the overall pattern goes, and I'm just going to back it up to the first day, uh, nothing changes. Now here is the weather system for uh, the late week when we get into the colder air for a couple of days, and it's actually a pretty decent looking trough. Um, if the dynamics were just a little bit different, where this could somehow, were, if this were to somehow dive a little more southeastward and be a little deeper, then you actually could wind up with a little bit of a surprise. But that, that's not going to happen. Uh, and then it lifts up and out and gone. And then you have a ridge building here early uh, Christmas week. And we stay in a ridge position, although the axis is a little further east. But this is just, to me, is just phenomenal to see something this outrageously strong this time of year and you have the deep uh, vo complex vortex that's bringing down trough after trough into the western states and then you see there's a weak system that comes through a uh, day after Christmas and gets a little cooler for a day and then back up the ridge comes uh, again uh, phenomenally strong for this time of year and this trough phenomenally deep and nothing up here in the north is changing so um, it's pretty much the same old story. Uh, there's no signs anywhere of any kind of important pattern change. I mean, I think the only takeaway I could even remotely get from this is that the ridge axis uh, is moved a little further east. Big deal. That only means that, uh, well, it really doesn't mean anything. It doesn't mean anything different in terms of the uh, weather outcome just by moving it five degrees. It needs to just get completely out of the way, and that just does not seem to be happening. So. Enjoy your record-breaking highs for the rest of the day, and we'll get a little bit of rain for tomorrow. I'll talk about that uh, in a couple of posts uh, going into this evening. And uh, just try and get into the spirit of things, even if it's not cold enough for you. And if you're enjoying this warm weather, this is just an absolute bonanza for you.